Well, the Padres opened this unique 60 game playing during a pandemic season with a win over the Diamondbacks 7 to 2 at Petco Park. It was business as usual if you don't count the fact that there were no fans. Players came out to piped in crowd noise for the opening day introductions and during the ceremony all the guys who weren't starters kind of looked around like Okay, now what? <laughs> what do we do here? But during the game, there were elbow bumps, there were cardboard cutouts. You could hear people cheering from rooftops and balconies around Petco Park. In fact, you could hear players cheering for one another. You could also hear them yelling at the umpires. And at times, you could hear the Padres front office staff cheering for the players. They were sitting in an empty suite behind home plate. It was weird in a lot of ways when you consider they are playing baseball during a pandemic, but then there were also very normal moments throughout the game when you just looked at guys playing, having fun, scoring runs. But then, of course, there were no 50,000 people cheering. There was piped in crowd noise from a machine. So it will definitely take some getting used to. But it was a good night overall for the Padres. Chris Paddock in his first opening day start with six shutout innings as his family watched on television from Texas. And there was a cardboard cutout of his mom in the front row behind home plate. A six RBI night for Eric Hosmer. And Plenty of offense and especially discipline at bats, which is what new manager Jace Tingler has been preaching all spring training and summer camp. Here's more from the players after the game. I'm just happy uh, the way the guys played. I thought Paddock set the tone. Um, you know, the bullpen came in and, and was aggressive throwing strikes. And then, you know, we played pretty good clean defense behind it. And uh, I thought the at bats just got stronger when, when the game went on. So, uh, yeah, the, the win's nice, but it's it, it's really refreshing to see uh, the guys carry their game over to what they've been working on um, into the game tonight. It was really good to see. Uh, still got the jitters. You know, it was, uh, it was a great win for us. You know, get the first one under our belt, you know, 59 games to go. Um, but for me personally, you know, whether it was 55,000 fans or no fans, man, I, I was fired up. Um, you know, I think the guys were going to be a little, we were going to be a little nervous on, you know, to see how that played out with no fans. Um, you know, but I think our production team with the, uh, the fat heads behind home plate, you know, the, uh, the media team that, that does a great job, you know, with the crowd noise, all that stuff, uh, you know, it felt normal. Uh, you know, it took me a couple innings to get in a groove there, you know, and calm down, take a deep breath. But, you know, I'm excited uh, that we came out with the victory tonight. You know, this is an opportunity, you know, that I told myself that, you know, not very many people get to uh, say they get to pitch on opening night. Um, and, you know, I, I really soaked that in. Um, you know, I got to celebrate uh, with my brother a little bit. Uh, he came into town a couple days ago, but you know, I'm, I'm excited to be able to FaceTime my family here after this interview and, uh, you know, just tell them how much I love them and how much I miss them. But, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll remember this day for a really long time. You know, I'm looking forward to uh, many more opening, opening days. It was definitely something that uh, I certainly wanted to improve on this year. Um, you know, I know I had a tough time with all lefties last year and especially Madison, uh, you know, over the course of my career. But, um just uh, really happy about the win. Really happy we, uh, you know, I got to cash in on some of those big opportunities. Um, you know, early on, the way both pitches were throwing, uh, you know, it seemed like it would take one big hit to really lift the team and, and uh, secure the win. So, uh, was just happy that came with a, you know, a big, big swing there with the two outs. And, uh, you know, Paddock and the bullpen were able to do the rest. Extremely thankful to be out there. Uh, you know, the guys uh, did a lot of hard work over the course of, you know, however long we were off to stay ready for this day, not knowing when it would happen. Uh, and at the same time, a lot of people behind the scenes that aren't getting a lot of credit that, uh, you know, were able for us to, to go out there and play baseball, that were doing their jobs to keep us safe and keep all, uh, you know, the stadiums around Major League Baseball good. So um, just thankful to be out there. And, um, yeah, the beauty of our park, uh, you know, we're sitting in the middle of downtown. So I know there's a couple apartment complexes and uh, a couple of hotels where, you know, you can hear some people on the rooftop. So uh, it was really cool to hear that. And, um, you know, you know, everyone's watching from home supporting. So, uh, you know, you can't hear the people in the stadium, but you definitely feel the love coming from all angles.